Oh, that was what I was going to share. That's what the doctor said. He said, Mike, you did one thing that I didn't like since you've been working with us. And I said, what? No, dummy me say what? He says, do you want me to tell you? I said, clarify. And he said, yeah, you hit that guy. And I hit somebody a few months ago, but it was not just to hit him. He was spitting on an old lady. And I was standing there talking with one of the guys, and he, she's 70 years old, carrying a bag, waiting for the bus. She wasn't a street person. Here comes a street idiot. And he starts, he finds a, a plate of food and he starts spitting it, don't matter. And I tried reasoning with him the proper thing to do today. He wouldn't reason with the logical thing. To do. So I had to just, I socked him in the mouth. And I am sorry that I'm not a nice guy all the time. Sometimes you have to result in, I don't know how to say it. I don't give a shit, I don't feel guilty. This is not the lifestyle where you got, oh, excuse me, sir, you know that she's an old lady. No, what the fuck you, I was cussing at her. What the fuck, you stupid? No, hit me. If you gotta hit somebody, hit me. I can accept that. So I punched him in the mouth. And was yelling at him, he took off running. But I told the doctor to confide in somebody, and he remembered six months later. And I don't feel guilty. I explained to him, so I'm not you, Dr. B. He comes, he's a doctor from Philly. He's really nice, great guy. But he's really, passionate, caring. He knows how to diffuse a situation just with his demeanor. He's, he's good at that, but I'm not. I just let my feelings get involved. Okay, we're done. You dropped your thing on your, your hair thing. Oh, thank you. So that was good, interesting. So now you kind of have an idea. You know, you see what I do, but at the same time, it's not easy being me because there's still a lot of unresolved things. Because shit don't go away, you know? It's like when the, our guys come back from war, all that shit they're doing over there. You know, we see stuff on TV, they're gonna eventually come back. Don't think they're not gonna want to up some shit. We got our, I got a client that's, was in one of the wars recently, and he's he's a client, and it's sad the way he, he's fucked up in the head. And you gotta talk to him like he's 10 years old, and you listen to shit, and that's kinda like me, people don't understand, but this is real, this is my, this is real reason, but I don't share with everybody what I told you, unless you ask. Because people just think, that's why I laugh when they say, uh, when you saw that thing on there, it's alcohol and drugs. Bullshit, that's not my problem. That's, uh, I'm the problem. I'm still fucked up today.